Hello, welcome to another 5-Minute Filament Review. Today we are reviewing Iron-Filled Metal Composite PLA by Protopasta. Uh, this is a composite material. It's PLA with real metal particles. And there's enough uh, iron in it for it to be uh, attracted to magnets. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at this and uh, see how it printed. I printed a total of uh, three models with it. The first one here is yet another filament sample, a key card edition. So this I think printed out pretty well. Top surface is generally good and flat. Um, material is opaque, you can't see through it there at all. Um, it did the bridging. The bridging's a little bit rough. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. Um, over here the cutout's fine, the circles are fine. It is a tiny bit of stringing I got here in here but not bad. There's a couple blemishes here that could be something was on the build plate. I think this printed successfully. I printed this at 210 degrees on my Prusa i3 Mark III and I used an E3D Nozzle X. This is an abrasive filament so you will need a hardened nozzle of some sort. Now due to the additional metal that's in this, this material is more dense. You can you can noticeably feel the additional weight in the part. Let's put it on the scale here. Here is the protopasta with metal uh, weighing in at about 7. Here is just a plain ordinary PETG weighing in at about 4. Uh, now keep in mind my scale doesn't have a whole lot of uh, significant digits to it so um, maybe losing a little bit of precision but it's definitely a heavier material. And like I say, you can you can feel the weight in it. It does not feel like plastic. It feels heavier than plastic. The next model I printed was this platypus by Alciman. I like using Alciman's models for my uh, filament sample prints and reviews because they print really easily. Uh, this platypus turned out great. It is. It feels really heavy to me. It definitely does not feel like plastic. Um, the detail on this platypus is really cool. Um, it printed, you know, the detail on the toes just fine. The skin has this mottled texture that's designed in the model, and it, that turned out good. Um, just no issues with this platypus at all. I really like uh, how this platypus turned out. I'm going to give to my daughter as a toy. Um, see, the bottom of him turned out good. I'm just very happy with how this platypus turned out and how it does not feel like plastic to me. And finally, I have a Sir Layers a lot. Usually I print these at 60%. I ran a little short on filament, so he's a little bit short at like uh, 49%. Here's a normal one in comparison. So you can see I did have to print him quite a bit smaller than my usual. You can see some stringing in here. There were also a few blobs on him in places that um, I could scrape the blobs off with my fingernail. They're not on there hard. Uh, maybe lowering the temperature would help with the stringing and blobs, I'm not sure, but overall detail is great. I can clearly read the back of the cape. I can clearly see the shield details, overhang and angles on the sword were fine. Adhesion to the build plate was good. Uh, the helmet turned out great. Um, he definitely has that additional heft to him. He does not feel like plastic. He feels like some kind of metal. So let's test the magnetic properties of these. So here I have something with some magnets on it. Definitely holds it strong enough to hold its own weight. We've got that definite click of magnet to metal. Of course, I don't think it holds as strongly as something that was pure metal, but it's still uh, very impressive for a 3D printed print. So, kind of holding it sideways. Well, even even at that angle, I'm still it's still holding it up. That's that's pretty cool. Of course, the filament sample holds on there great. Even the sir layers a lot. It's held in there like that. So if you need something that will work with a magnet, this filament certainly will do. So closing thoughts, this is uh, my first iron fill filament. I've printed out uh, wood fill before. I've printed out um, carbon fiber fill. This is the first time I've done a metal fill and I think this turned out really awesome. I think it because of that additional weight it has a very different sort of qualitative human feel to it. It doesn't feel like a plastic model. It feels like 
something else. It's not quite as heavy as a real metal model, but it's, you know, it's somewhere in between. Of course, that does make this material a lot more expensive because the material just doesn't go as far. You buy a 500 gram spool of this and because it's more dense, that 500 grams is less length, which means you're going to get less print out of it. Uh, so consider that this is a fairly expensive material to print with. You want to uh, really save it for the things that you're, you're willing to spend that expensive price on. Um, but I may consider getting myself a spool of this just to print a few slightly larger um, and more interesting things. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this sort of thing interests you, then please subscribe and I will make more of them. Thank you.